Welcome to Clickshare.com. In this video, I'll quickly talk about big function in ClickView. So let's get started. So let's understand what is big function. It works like an index function in Excel. And we also have a match function like what we have in Excel. So you can use pick and match as if you're using index and match within Excel. I'm sure those who come from Excel background would definitely appreciate this. And this function can be used in scripting and also it can be used within the UI itself. So wherever you see an expression editor, you can go ahead and use the pick function, pretty much like any other functions. And uh, it returns the nth expression or string in the list. So there are two parameters and the first parameter checks the position and the second parameter is the actual string itself. So I'll give you a quick demo for understanding on how it can be used. So let's move to the next slide. So where to use the pick function? In fact, uh, uh, you can use it to avoid nested if statements because if you have multiple if statements and if there are too many conditions to check, you can instead use the pick function. Like I said, combination of pick and match function can be also used as uh, uh, switch case statements within your script. And most important place for me is using it as a dynamic set analysis expression. You can't pass in an input parameter based on the dimension value within your set analysis. However, using the pick function, you can actually pick the appropriate function based on the dimension. In the future video, I'll create an example of using the pick match function along with the value loop function and show you how you can solve some practical problems. So let's quickly jump into click view and uh, I'll quickly show you how pick function works. So all you need to do is Let's add a text box and then I'll say pick. And the first parameter, like I said, it's the position value. So this can be, for now I'll keep it two. And then let's say I have two expressions, simple ones, one plus one, comma, sum of two plus two and close the brackets. So if you see the pick function evaluated four because it's looking up the index number, this is one and this is two. It's picking up the nth expression. So it doesn't have to be expression itself. It can be a string as well. So let's say that country region and XYZ. And now it becomes the string. So you can pass in a string or you can pass in an expression itself. And you can actually pass in, instead of hard coding this strings or expressions, you can have them in a variable. And that variable builds the string by using the concat function. So I'll not talk about this example. So instead of hard coding the string values or the expressions, you can store them in a variable by using the concat function and the value loop function. In the future video, I'll explain you how to do, how to use pick match functions along with the value loop and the concat functions once I cover value loop and the concat functions. So that was a pretty simple tutorial on uh, how to use the pick function and I would strongly recommend you to go back and look at the uh, video on the match function so that you can refresh yourself. And that's it for now. And um, also I would recommend you to participate in ClickView question of the day. So thank you for watching. Have a good day.